The American frontier, also known as the Wild West, was a period that began in the early 17th century and ended in 1920. Thanks to movies and books that highly romanticize the period, the image that people have in their minds of the Wild West is far from the truth. Most people in the Wild West lived in squalor. The environment they lived in was harsh, dirty, and dangerous, but a lot of people didn't have any other choice. We have compiled here 37 gross Wild West hygiene routines, but before we begin, make sure you press the subscribe button and leave a comment telling us if you would have wanted to live in the Wild West. Towels in Saloons See that white towel hanging from the bar? Many cowboys used it to wipe alcohol from their beards, and it was never replaced. Shared toothbrushes. Many public places had toothbrushes that were used by anyone and everyone, and just like the towels in saloons, these toothbrushes were never replaced either. Dirty utensils. People ate from shared utensils that were never washed. These utensils were almost always covered in dust and bugs. Seam squirrels. Most mattresses were made of hay or straw, both of which were infested with lice and fleas. People often slept in these mattresses. Lice were called seam squirrels in the Wild West. Dirty outhouses. Most toilets were just an outhouse, which was a small hut built over a hole in the ground. These toilets were hardly ever cleaned, and they reeked of human excrements that always had flies buzzing around them. Water problems. Water often became polluted by fluids leaking from toilets and cow and horse manure. Oftentimes, people had no choice but to drink from his dirty water. Spittoons. Cowboys had a habit of chewing tobacco and then spitting out brown phlegm into spittoons. It almost always landed on the floor of saloons. Spreading of diseases was common because of this practice. Ingesting sulfur. People in the Wild West believed that effective medicines were those that smelled and tasted bad. For this reason, drinking sulfur was a common practice. Medical practices. Finding an actual doctor in the Wild West was rare, but even they prescribed some strange treatments. For example, they would tell people to remove part of their skin, stick cotton on their bodies and set it on fire, give them medicines that resulted in vomiting, and make them stand naked out in the cold air. Leeches for breakfast. If someone got sick while out on the streets, doctors often prescribed them bleeding with the help of leeches. People often ended up swallowing the leeches because of which they had to drink alcohol every 15 minutes to kill them. Dog treatment. According to the author David Derry, a popular treatment in the Wild West era involved killing a dog and then gutting it. The guts were mixed with hen's eggs, nettles, red fishing worms, terpstin, brimstone, and tobacco. The mixture was then inserted in the dead dog, which was then roasted with the patient sitting next to it. Painful whipping. There were no tissues in the Wild West, so people often used corn cobs or grass to wipe their butts. Corn cobs were stiff and often left scars on people's bottoms, which sometimes led to infections. Dirty beards. Cowboys were often forced to ditch their beards because they were always so full of germs. Facial hair was infected with all kinds of germs, mostly because of all the dust that was flying around. Cowboys had no choice but to sport a clean cut look. Fungus infections. Fungus infections were prevalent in the Wild West. People almost never took a bath, which resulted in fungus cropping up on their genitals and armpits. These infections were itchy and they sometimes led to a more serious disease. Dust storms. Storms often engulfed entire towns in grime and dust. This resulted in a lot of respiratory diseases, and many people's faces were covered in dust. It wasn't possible to clean this dust with just a broom as it was too much. Horse smell. Cowboys wore heavy clothing and they rode their horses for hours. Moreover, they went months without taking a bath. This led to them smelling like their horses. We can only assume that it wasn't a pleasant smell. Washing hair with alcohol. People in the Wild West didn't have shampoos, so they washed their hair with an odorless soap that was made of lard and lye, and sometimes a mixture of whiskey and castor oil. Women often used heated pencils to curl their hair. Washing clothes. Clothes were often washed in the same water that had dust and all sorts of weird bugs in it. As mentioned before, most water sources were also contaminated by cow and horse manure, and it was common for people to wash their clothes using the same water. Women and men. Men were much dirtier than women in the Wild West. The first thing women did when they woke up was wash their faces. Men, however, never really had the time to wash any part of their bodies, so they just walked around covered in dust. Menstruation. Since there weren't a lot of healthcare products available back then for women, they had to use sponges and makeshift tampons. They often bled into their clothes. Food with flies. There were no screens on windows, so it was common for houses to have flies in them. This resulted in food getting contaminated by larvae produced by flies, and people often ended up eating them. STDs were common. It is speculated that 80% of prostitutes in the Wild West had STDs. 
Owing to unsanitary conditions, STDs were very pervasive in those days. Despite having fungus infections and STDs, people continued to have intercourse. Alcohol was different. In the Wild West, alcohol was far more potent than it is today. Whiskey was made of a mixture of burnt sugar, alcohol, and chewing tobacco. It was nicknamed firewater because cowboys often set it on fire. Hotels were dirty. Rooms in hotels were small and often had to be shared with other people. They were full of cockroaches and other insects, and people had to sleep in beds that were infested with bugs. Chamber pots. Hotels and houses had chamber pots beneath the beds in which people relieved themselves at night. These chamber pots were rarely emptied and rooms ended up smelling like poop. Skin care. In the Wild West, women's skin was expected to look clear and pale. For this reason, many women applied bleach on their faces. Long hair. With all the dust and the parasites, it wasn't uncommon for men's hair to become a breeding ground of bacteria. Public defecation. When cowboys were on the streets and there were no outhouses in sight, they often just dug a hole in the sand and relieved themselves right there and then. Disease-free towns were rare. Chicken pox was common as people scratched their bodies and then washed their hands using water that was used by hundreds of other people. It was considered a miracle to find a town that was disease-free. Dental care. Most cowboys had rotten teeth and gum diseases due to a lack of proper dental care. Urine as an antiseptic. Infections were very common in the past and people often used urine to get rid of them. Bath water was never cleaned. People often took baths in the same tub that was never cleaned. Yikes. Childbirth was more painful. Women used eagle poop to ease the pain of childbirth. It was sometimes mixed with oil and vinegar. Toilets with spiders. Most toilets in the Wild West had black widow spiders hiding in them, and getting bitten by them wasn't uncommon. Sleeping in sawdust. Many saloons had floors that were covered in sawdust. This was to ensure that the tobacco that cowboys spat on the floor got soaked up. But saloon owners didn't care about cleaning the floor, so they often made their bed in sawdust. Bathing and washing dishes in the same basin. People hardly took the time to replace their tubs. Most people used the same tin basin for cleaning their dishes and their bodies. Preparing food and washing clothes. Oftentimes, clothes were washed in the same utensils in which the food was prepared. Residues of stew, beans, etc. were removed from the clothes and were then tossed back into the pots and kettles, which had food in them. This resulted in the spread of diarrhea and dysentery. Now that you know how dirty people in the Wild West were, would you want to live during those times if you could? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video with your friends.